Hello everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pacific Drive, shall we? Picking up where we left off. I mean, last episode was just a garage episode because I had so much work to do. I was trying to diagnose whatever crazy quirk or trait had afflicted my car, you know, and I couldn't quite get to the bottom of it, but that's all right. Got a little metal. Okay, so at this point, I think we're ready to go. You know, I did. it did occur to me, maybe there is nothing wrong with my car in the sense of uh, maybe I think that the radio is always on, but I accidentally just turned it on and I don't know how to turn it off. But I'm not sure about that. It also seems weird. Uh, either way, um, in terms of repairing the car, everything is good here, except for uh, the fact that I'm missing a flare and i am only got crude panels, but we can get on with that. So... My goal is to just, let's take a path to a route that's pretty close, that seems safe, like this one right here. You trying to figure out how to pay me a visit? Don't bother. By regular standards, I'm about 10 miles west of you. In zone terms, consider me on another planet. There's a valley of perpetual instability in closing my corner of the zone, and yes, I chose to live here for that exact reason. Leave an old woman in peace. Oh, I want to visit her. I can't wait to show up and see what she says. Um, but either way, uh, let's see. I have one scanner charge. So this means I can just check this out, see what we got over here. So this is a perpetual stability zone. It's got a lot of good stuff. It. Uh, we haven't ever been here, miraculously. And... What does E7 mean? It just means that we've explored it. So this is a junction we haven't gone to. It looks good. It's got lots of cars so that we can get flares and parts. It's got a good amount of houses for the fabric that we want. And it doesn't look too deadly. So that is important for me because I'm trying to just uh, work my way back to, uh, you know, being in a good position to progress and I feel good about this this is a this panel right here I it's from the dumpster the heart means it's from the dumpster and if I go scrap it it doesn't do anything because it's from the friendly dumpster I could put it in the locker and if I get the repair stuff then it'll get better um oh there's a toolbox over here oh, that's interesting I didn't now there's nothing in it so it doesn't really matter but Let's go. I mean, because I don't see the radio, like, as a control, unless... Is that it? What's this? A helicopter drops something into the car, and it's driving away, and... Okay, just a little display screen. Oh my god, maybe... Yes. I must have accidentally hit this. So I've been going crazy, like, what's going on with this radio? I'm sure many of you were probably screaming at the screen in rage. Because I didn't know that the... Again, this is just my usual, like, sense of vehicles. The radio is not usually up where the sunglasses holder and rearview mirror is. It's usually down here, but I guess... Um, because of the way that this car is configured, it's up here. So that's why I messed up on all of the diagnostics with the car, because I kept thinking the radio was involved, but it wasn't. So now we can have a better chance we can eliminate that. All right. Let's go into the zone. By the way, I'm going to keep the toggle to not lose anything on death, just because I don't want to make the playthrough take 10 years if I die again. Um, but also, if there was an option 
to lose like 50% of your gathered materials, I would take that to give you some penalty, but not everything, if that makes sense. Or if there was a way to reclaim them um, by returning to the zone, I would do that too, but I don't know if that's the thing. All right. Um, warning, vehicle health empty. So it keeps telling me vehicle health empty, which seems not true, but I don't know if that just means one of my panels has fallen off. All right. Anyway, let's look at the map. So one thing I have to get better at with this game is I'm going to explore, but see, if I want to just pick up one of these anchors, that's cool. But um, maybe the thing that the scanner that I looked at wasn't about anchors, but was about gates. So I could better plan my escape route. Because really what snaked me the last time was that I didn't know where the gate was going to be. And then when I picked up the anchor, I couldn't get there. So it might be better so you can like figure out, okay, I will pick these up and then go to this gate. Sometimes it tells you you're too close to the gate. So you'd have to factor that in. But that's just something, part of the game that I want to learn. Alright. So I get better at it. Because honestly, like, there are some elements of the game that I feel are unexplained. And I know that that's by design, for the most part. But the overall level of love and care and polish on the game is just ridiculous. It's so incredible how iconic... The experience is of, you know, just driving in this environment. It's a very um, identifiable sense of style and identity. Uh, okay, here's an... Yes, let's get this. There's a bad guy up here, but um, these things are usually incredible. Have I scanned this cutter anomaly? Uh, there's a crude door, which I don't want. But this is a ceiling kit. That's fine. We'll take it. This is a broken pry bar and a steel panel. I mean, I'd love a steel panel, but... Uh, it's called the can opener. So maybe I hadn't scanned that before, but I got it now. See, why did this open? So that's part of the weirdness of the car. All right, I'm going to put the ceiling kit away. And I'm going to transfer all my materials. And now I feel better. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, rearrange this vacuum guy and this guy. Okay, looks good. Uh, I don't think that these dump trucks... It's a fuel tanker. Um, well, maybe it does do stuff. Yeah, I could take the door. Okay. Now, yes, there is a fuel. I was like, is there a fuel hookup? There is. I have. A, I'm good on fuel, but yeah, this is cool. So you can use this to refuel. My scrapper is going to break any second now. Right, right then is when it broke. All right. So, just getting more stuff scanned. Let me open up and... Do I have a scrapper? I got a few. I got two. I need an impact hammer crafted because my impact hammer is about to bust. Actually, I didn't craft it. That's... That's what tricks me. See how I have a gear? I didn't understand that. You you fill up the progress bar, and it's first crafting the gear, and then you have to do it again. That had been throwing me off. I didn't understand that mechanic. I still actually don't have one. I have two gears now. Um, oh, but now I need the scrap metal. Okay, interesting. So it's like, yes, you could make it, but you need some more scrap metal. No, that's fine. We're going to get scrap metal right now. Well, theoretically, there looks like there might actually be nothing left to scrap on this.
Don't listen to me. Yes, there was. I do do. This is a fully functional summer tire. Um, all right. I think that's it, but that's pretty good. So now I bet I could craft that impact hammer. I like to have my replacements all ready. Oh, and I bet I could break apart that, too, perhaps, a little bit. Can we make the impact hammer? Yes, we can. All right, hit me over here. Tremendous. Yeah. Armored door. Man, this is probably going to take me forever to uh, break apart. Actually, I should have scanned that. Oh, no, look at this. It gives you the thermosap. Now I have a better feel for how to get that. See, that's the stuff that I want to get the technology that allows you to remove things cleanly. Okay, perfect. All right. Now we're talking. Uh, I don't know if I need to stand here and break apart a bunch of tires at this point. There's some fuel I could siphon. Um, I've already searched through this. There are, you know, there's... I could take out the stuff and then break it apart, I guess, if I really wanted to. But... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the steel door, and I'm going to pretend like... Or the steel panel. I'm going to pretend like I can just put it in the car and use it later. Ah, it's so big. I don't know if this is a good idea. Inventory full, yeah. All right, you know what? I'm just going to put it down. I could break it, but... It doesn't have anything that's, like, wild. We've got a long way to go. Let's let the can opener roll. Alright, this thing is locked. Whoa, 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 this guy. Um, I wonder if I could, like, vacuum it up. It, my question would be, first of all... Happy hair. I hit it. Does that do anything? I got it. All right, it had scrap metal and marsh eggs, so marsh eggs are new. All right, I don't know if I should have killed that thing, but I did. Some of those, it might have been a different thing that I, so the door opens, that's the weirdness. They jump on your car and they mess you up, so I don't want that to happen. I think Hellfire was telling me if you scrap just the top of the panel, it doesn't actually break the contents inside. But you can also just hit it with your hammer. There must have just been nothing in there, unless the, the impact hammer did break it. I'm so happy that it's daytime. It's wonderful.
I like how somebody put this car up on blocks. Like, oh, we'll come back for it. Trust me. Just need a new tire. We'll go to the, uh, you know, very nice gas station and be back. All right, let's go. Let me check where I'm on the map. I am about to get to some houses. Right, I'm going to stop messing with cars except the trunk and go to the houses because, you know, that's what I need is the fabric. You got a sealed trunk? You do. Leave the car on. I'm going to be right back. You know what? I'm going to stop doing that because now, like, that's two in a row where there wasn't anything when I used that. So maybe I am wrecking the contents and I need to be more careful and I need to use the pry bar. Fine. Fine. I'll do that. I guess it's not a guarantee, though, that... Ooh, I almost missed this. Sweet. I love these. Um, well, not the best stuff in that one, but still, stuff. Stuff nonetheless. Bam. Oh, I was so used to it that, yeah. All right. Where are we at? All right. Oh, God. I off-roaded it. See, that's the problem. I try to look over at this map, and I can't see the road, and... Oh, God. Don't drive and navigate. Okay, this is a, a bad spot. I gotta go through it, though. I'm gonna take a left to get to these houses. Whoa! Boy, my car really did not do a good job right there. All right, here's a tower. Okay, fine. All right, so... If this car... It does. All right, I'm going to try it. Oh. Where'd my pry bar go? Did I put that away? Oh, we got one here. Look at this. See everything in the trunk. Because I used the pry bar that time. Alright. I was wasting materials, potentially. Alright. Tremendous. And we know that there is a house over here. So let's go to it. Adorable graffiti. Oh, there's a few little dwellings. I feel like a proper thief. There's chemicals. Oh, praise be. All right, let's turn on our cool flashlight. Uh-oh. Um, no, no, hit it with the impact hammer, I guess. Chemicals. All right. A lot of good stuff. Oh, I don't have room for the rubber duck. Oh, because I'm still carrying this spare impact hammer. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm not like... Absolutely... Over the moon about... Rubber. But if there's something at this... Yeah, there's plasma, which I'm going to need, so... Let me go back to my car and drop off stuff. Turn off this flashlight. Don't waste it. Well, now it's becoming night. So that's unfortunate. I'm just going to uh, send back this bad impact hammer. <laughs> um, just to make some 
quick space, I guess. Oh, you know what? I need to use an impact hammer right now, so let's just use it. And it'll break on these guys right when I need it to not break, which is awesome. Um, go ahead and uh, equip this. Uh-oh. It's coming after me. Get out of here. All right, send your electricity off somewhere else. Can you do that? There you go. Oh, the hammer broke. Okay, right. I mean, which is what we wanted. All right, that's one. Got him. Vacuum it. Get me the good stuff. Okay. Oh, that's scary. Limb is poison. Alright, so this one is locked, so we're just going to smash it with a hammer. Man, it's so good to see the chemicals, knowing I can, you know, heal myself, make repair putty, all the good stuff. That's fun. Now you're talking. Wow. All right. Oh, I got to put back these flares. That's the thing that's killing me. Also, one of my goals is to get 20 fabric so I can make the better um, backpack. Because my backpack is like super small with all the tools I'm trying to carry. All right. I'm going back out. And... Did I see another? There's my car. There's that place. Is that just a rock or is that a house? Oh, that looks like a little house or a car. It's a truck. I'm in the mud. It's a box truck. What you got? Whoa. You got a treasure trove. All right. So we'll take back everything that we could fit, but we're going to need to make multiple trips to this thing. This is great. All right. Okay, I'm going to go back to my car. Oh, here's another car. Well, I got a bunch of flares. So this will help us make new flashlights. Alright. I'm going to put the flares back. And... I'm going to rearrange this, and we're going to kind of rotate it, put it here, and this guy can go over here. Oh, no, we need my light. Okay, good. Let me go back to that truck.
All right, truck, hit me. Okay, so we want um, the food and all of these, you know, different cosmetics. That's fine. It's fun. We'll really, really customize at some point. All right, tremendous. And do I see anything else here? Well, there is something over there, but I can't tell if that's just a tanker or some pipes or... Yeah, there's like busted cars and stuff, but... Oh, no, that's just the road uh, switching back. That's no problem. All right, let's get out of here. One, two, three, four. Here you go. Here you go. Dear God. Go. Alright, so now um, we're curling around this way. There's a bunch of stuff on this road. We're going to loot it. We're just going to fill up. And I might just drive back after that. Uh, I could take the logging route if I wanted to. There are houses up there, but I'd rather have the, uh, ke the place for potential chemicals this way. Oh, I am going fast. Yep, doors open again. Yeah, look at that. There's a, a tower down there. Let's go get it. I'm going to go ahead and close you up. Hopefully you're safe on the road. Radio tower. There's some floating debris. They tricked us. You got tricked. Oh, oh, this is... This might not be a place I can go reasonably. There's a lot of radiation here. I want to go inside, but it... I heard that I need lead to make like, you know, clothing to help insulate me from what we're talking about right here. This horrifying damage. But I'm going to run in and see if there's anything anyway. I'm just going to loot what I can. And I'm, I'm going to actually go back and I'm going to get my pry bar and equip it. Um, and we're going to use it chemicals good gas cylinder good 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 uh, this lets you convert into plastic that's not very good um, okay good and then what you got over here all right I'll take the food I'm just oh no not the first aid kit where'd the food go oh yeah just eat it this will heal... Well, we don't have to eat it now, but this will heal us so that we basically get back the health that we took. I don't think I can go up any higher here. Yeah, I think it's just time to leave. The radiation is bad, but it's not um, so prohibitive that I can't even explore. There might be a few other things there. This is busted. the transmission thing or whatever um, I think you have to get yeah there's a second level god there's got to be a way to get that now you might need some kind of grappling hook or extra tool but I don't see a ladder maybe I missed it maybe it was on the inside I'm going back I know that that transmission piece that I got before was like super important. I'm going to eat this just to fill up. 
And I'm going to look around for a hatch or a ladder or another staircase that I may have missed. Like, can I jump up and then jump up more? Uh, there's a roof. It's not really another level. All right, all right, all right, fine. I'll tell you what, that MRE didn't quite do what I thought it was going to do. Okay. So I'm very injured, but I've got a bunch of food I can eat. So I'm going to eat this one, and it says uh, it heals 12 health. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to heal like 50. It only heals 12. Okay. All right. So this should heal me a bunch. How much do I get up to? 83? Okay. All right. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to just push my supplies over, and then I'm going to eat a little bit more food. I'm going to eat two. Oop, oh, wrong button. All right, and then I'm going to get back in. And let's look at the map. Oh, there's a massive storm coming. Well, that's not good. That's going to change our plans. It looks like it's moving to the northeast, but we might have to abandon ship and go back along the road to avoid this. Good to know. All right, everybody. Well, we're exploring the zone, and we're just being very careful and getting some good stuff, learning more about the game. I still really enjoy it, and I'm just going to try to do a better job, and we need to figure out, like, this is why I died. This door opening, I think, and causing it to be damaged and causing my car to not protect me um, just really contributed to my death. So we're going to do whatever we can to fix that. Everyone, I want to say thank you so much for watching, and thank you for sharing all of your tips and advice to help me understand the game. I'll check you in the next one. Take care.